been one year since Foreigner was released. All the factions, they all have six different heroes. It's equal strength everywhere. It's time for the Wolves to rise on top. We decided to call season five Age of Wolves because with a one year anniversary, we go back to Apollyon. And Apollyon dreamed about this world where wolves will dominate and not the sheep. There will be new content in season five. New gear, new emotes, new execution, balancing, major updates to some heroes, and one feature that everybody's been waiting for, the release of the dedicated servers. We dedicated a whole part of the team to only work on that. Can we really change the whole architecture of the game while we improve it and run it at the same time? That's why it took so much time, basically, because of the amount of work that is needed behind it. First, for player, it's only improvement. In terms of flag, feeling of latency, you don't get any more resynchronization. When the player is leaving, you don't get post migration message. You really get the best experience that Foreigner has to offer. With the new season, some characters of our roster can say Conqueror, Berserker. We did some major changes. We've added new connections, new mix-ups, to really improve their playstyle, but also improve their effectiveness on the battlefield. We are looking also at other characters, and maybe more in the future. Regarding the progression and the gear in Season 5, we don't want it to add uh, an extra uh, rarity as we did uh, previously. So we've added a new step that is called gear refinement. That's adding a, an extra edge on the stats, but really the purpose is to have the best gear in the game and to showcase it to everybody else. People want to have more choice regarding their progression. So now you can spend your salvage to get an XP boost that will boost the hero you're playing as well everybody else that is playing with you. We want to revamp the experience of the onboarding, so we created trials which are a bit more narratively driven experiences where you learn all the basics of the art of combat. We expect new players to go with the apprentice and then have a bit of playtime in the game and then come back for the war trials to go more in depth into the art of combat. Once you've mastered these basics, you can now go in the arena. And what's cool is that as you play online, you will fight against other players doing specific moves, using specific heroes, and when you feel like you're stuck or you don't quite know how to deal with these situations, now you can create the same setup in the arena, practice, and get better. So now we will allow the player to equip a different effect on each of the executions, on different emotes, etc. On Season 5, we want to have Tribute mode as the ranked mode in 4v4 and not Dominion. For Faction War, we're adding what we call the Strategic Points. When you own a territory that has a Strategic Point, you will get a bonus. More XP when you play matches, for example, more loot or more war assets. The first thing I think we need to say to our community is thank you guys. You have been amazing. We had ups, we had downs but the community was there with us throughout that year. Thank you all for your passion and uh, commitment. Thank you. Thank you.